Hello engineers, you are welcome to another episode of Start Pro. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can design connections for a steel structure. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can design a steel structure here in Start Pro. I also showed you how you can design a steel structure using the steel designer. Alright, so for today, I will be showing you how you can design the connections where you should have your splice, where you should have your, you know, any form of connection you want to do, you can perfectly do it here in Start Pro. Now, come to RAM connection. You can see what we have here. You have the post processing, steel design, concrete design, foundation design, RAM connection. Click on RAM connection. Then, this is not a problem. Just click on close. Then, this window will pop up. Okay. So, when you get to this window, the first thing you can do is you can go to um, LC, that is your load envelope. Click on it. Then when you click on it, it will bring this. It will ask you to, you know, create a load envelope. All right. So I'll just prefer to pick just my load combination. I have a load combination. Then just click on OK. All right. So the load envelope has been created. Another thing you can do is you can decide to make some settings. Then click on settings. All right. Then it will ask you about the design code. What design code do you want to use as your default for the connection design? So you can use BS, you have three altogether. You have one AIC, which is American, and then you have another um, AIC, which is LRFT. Yeah? So you can pick any of the three as your defaults. When you pick any of the three as your default, it still does not mean that you cannot use the other two. So it is, uh, you know, it's just um, defaults. So let me pick the, uh, let me pick ESDSF. All right, so then you click on OK. So now you are done with the setting. Then the next thing is to um, to start the connection. Now you have um, three more. Let's look at this. This one is a connection. We call it basic connection. You have some connections under it. So some connections that are under basic may not be under this one. This one is smart connection. Okay. So you may be looking for a particular connection. It may be present in basic connection but not present in smart connection. It may be present in smart connection but not present in basic connection. All right, so it just depends on where you want to, you know, just look at all the connections you have on that there, and then if this is what you're looking for, you pick it there. You also have this one, which is gusset connection. Okay, we have gusset connection. The gusset connection is basically for the, you know, for the bracings. Okay, and then we have um this one. This is material input. If you want to do some material input, and then this one is if you want to select a beam gather um identification tool. Okay. All right. Um. So I will begin with the um with the base plate. All right. To begin with the base plate, you know, to just make it easy, we can decide to you know do some um some arrangements. Let's say um let me put this in front view. All right. Then let's try to cut section. You can use your cut section here. So go to select view. Click on OK. Let me just decide to cut this bottom alone so that I can be seeing the bottom alone. All right. So um, that is perfect. Let me go to select, right? Then you can select all beam parallel to Y. All right. Then you can go to view. Then click on view selected object only. So you can see that everything I have here is just my bottom column and then the support. So what I just did is that I just filtered everything. So all unnecessary elements, I filtered them away. So that I can be able to select exactly what I want. All right. So I want to create base plates for these bottom columns. So you can pick um, the geometry cursor. You know, the geometry cursor will allow you to select both the nodes and the beam together. So let me just select them. Make sure the column are selected with the node. Then I can go to smart connection here. Go to smart connection. And then let's see if we have a base plate. Um, here you can see we have a base plate. Click on it. Then you have all of this. Then just transfer it here. Click on OK. Then it's trying to assign the connection. All right. Then you can see um, the results connect whatever as whatever. OK, OK, OK. So everything is OK. Sometimes it might not bring OK. What it will bring is warning. OK, warning. So let me just close this. Then perfect. You can now see all of the connections have been assigned here. So let's see this first one. All right. This first one. This is um, column B. All you just need to do is um, double click on it. All right. So when you double click on it, you'll be able to see it properly. Then you can decide to rotate. All right. You can rotate. You can zoom in. Then you can see what we have. You see our column. This is our column. To just show you some part of the column. 
can see our column then you can see the um the base plates you can see the anchor boots going into the um the column all right then you can see some properties of it here you can just come around here to check some properties you know um your loadings and then everything everything will be here all right so you can check all that let me um close this you might as well want to see the um the drawing okay so you can come here and see drawing and results here click on drawing and results when you click on drawing and results, right now you're on drawing and results tab then you now click on the particular um the particular um connection you want to see okay so when you click on it you can see that the drawing has you know the drawing whatever has come here then you can see this is the column this is the bottom which is the base plate you can see the general data everything here so you can see all the calculations for the connection design everything is here okay so if you want to copy this you can just you know control a everything will get selected then maybe you can copy it to a word space you know you can just open a microsoft word page and then you copy it all right so um that's perfect um let's go back to um connection then let me try to show the old structure click on display old structure then i can have my old structure back all right then um let's go to let's say between beam and beam you have um, a splice okay so let me try to select go to um select then select every beam that is parallel to y you can see then all the bottom and top column we get selected all right then let's see maybe um let's go to basic connection you know the last one we went to smart connection right now i'm just trying to show you that you know all everything is the same thing it just depends on what you are looking for so let's see if we can find our column splice here um let me first of all change the code to bs i think i prefer bs and then let's see this is um a splice but it's for beam splice and then this other one is for column splice okay but this is if the column splice are connected flange to flange okay so let me click on this and let's see if it will work transfer everything then click on okay all right everything has been done but we have them as a warning warning so it is not a failure but it is a warning so you can see that then let's see um, the connections obviously you can see we have the splice you can even see it from the join here and then let's check it you can see this particular one this cb that's the end for the base plates all right you can see the description here you can always check the description base plate then this one is um a column splice so a column splice so this particular one is the one i selected here so double click on it and then let's try to um, view that you can see what we have you can see the splice is connected at the flange if you want the splice to be at the at the web you know what to do you pick the one for the web okay so um this is um what you have all right then let's um close that um which other one then we can also connect our beams you know our beams with beam splice let me connect let me just select go to select and then go to beam no beam parallel to x so i can have a splice in this direction in between this beam and this beam i can connect them with splice let me go to basic so this first one you can see this first one you have a bent split beam column flange um um where is the splice let me look for the well let me always try i prefer using the bs so uh -huh. i know B the splice is very close when i'm using the bs so this is our bs you can see so look at the first one here it's a booted cover plate all right and then it's for beam splice okay but the splice will be at the flange okay if you want it to be at the web then you can pick this one so for the column we use um flange all right so let's use web for the beam this time around i'm not saying you have to use the web for the beam always you know i'm just trying to tell you that you know let's just see a difference since we've used for the flange you know flange connection so let me click for this for the beam splice then take away everything this is right and then you click on okay now if you look at the results you can see here you can see six connections have been assigned six connections have been assigned good then you can see all of the six although you still have everything in warning then click on close then let's see all right so you can see them from here shear web plates so let me see this one so you can see this is the um flange i was it called this is the splice the beam splice 
double click to take us to that window where you can see it in 3d all right then uh, let's try to see it then you can see now that we have a splice for the beam you know you have two beams connected at this point okay um you can now see that the um the splice is now at the web all right is at the web of the of the beam not at the flange if you want it to be at the flange that is at the top here you know how to uh how to do that okay so at the fair and you can see there is a cover plate there all right so um you can see the boat and everything all right so that's very um that's good um close that then um we can move on to you know to do another connection for example let's do this particular one you know you have a column here you have a beam here and then you have a brace here all right so let's do a connection for them pick the column hold control pick the um brace pick the beam i don't need to pick um the node automatically it will be able to detect the node for this one so i can go to um gusset connection here click on gusset connection and then let me pick the first one you can see the first one is a um, gusset plate column beam and brace you can see the gusset plate column beam brace so we have three things connected together so click on that one then let me transfer it to the selected tab then click on okay okay um you can see that um we're having a problem for this particular one so it says the beam member 43 has a moment carrying capacity but is considered as brace in ram of course it is a brace then it says that the brace member 43 has a rotation angle 45 okay degree about geometric edges then the allowable um, rotation you can have is 0 90 and whatever so all we just need to do is we have to go back to the um the modeling tab and then we can do some arrangements you, you know change the beta angle you change it to 45 you know, if this is in 45 already we can just try to rotate it a bit so that it can be in um 90 degrees so let me close that and then i can go back to the modeling tab all right so when you are in modeling tab um you can let's select the beam you know this particular one um this one and then this one then we can see it in rendered view all right um let me try to zoom it a bit okay then take that away then i can rotate now you can see how the connection is you can see that the angle bar is actually rotated in 45 degrees you can see that it is the center it is the center of the angle bar that is connected to the center of the beam you know um the leg the leg is supposed to be connected to the column not the center you know it is just the, the the apex of the triangle that is connected however it should be you know the flat side which is the leg this the flat leg should be parallel to the to the column so that's when you can have a proper connection but you cannot have a connection like this okay so you should be very careful of this before you go to ram connection so that you don't keep coming here every time you can just check it properly then you do the rotation so for me to rotate this you know this is um 45 degrees already okay so let me try to rotate it in like 180 degree you know yt plus 45 that would be um 225 right okay so i'll create a beta angle close that then you can go to um property and then go to beta angle then you can create beta angle then i'll say this is um 225 right then say okay and right, then i will assign that to this particular brace you know click on assign okay then let's see it now um click this one then click this one then let's see how it looks like i believe you can see the connection now um pan i believe you can see the connection now you can see how it is now connected you can see that it is the flat side that is now connected to the column you see the flat slide which is this one so now you can have a connection um but our analysis has been cancelled because of this change we made so we have to rerun the analysis and design um so when you just click on analyze it will do the analysis and design together since we've designed it before all right so click on yes all right perfect just click on done then um it says do i want to maintain my my connections that i've done before on ram so click on yes i want to maintain it so then let me go back to ram connection um close this as usual 
then you can see my connections are still there let me do this and then we move on so click on this click on this and then click on the race then you can pick gussets all right then um the first one which is the gusset plates beam brace click it this one then take it to this side then click on ok now we should have a good result so you can see one connection have been assigned although the status is what warning so it is connected but it is still a warning so click on ok then let's see it um let's see how it looks like so it is this last one you can see gusset this one so you can see it over here right so um double click on it then let's see how it looks like so you can see the um the gusset you can see so you have your or your beam connected to the column and then you now have your you know you have a cleat and then you can see your bracing this is your bracing so you can see this particular one is your beam so this is the angle we, we changed it to okay and you can see the gusset plate it is being booted to the to the um to the gusset plates and then the gusset plate is now connected to the column with angle cleat you can see you have an angle cleat it is used to connect that and then your your beam is also connected to the column with angle um angle cleats okay um so that is um very okay then we can you know we can move forward let me close that which other connection can we do um we can do just you know a beam for example this one and this one so let me select this and then you select this you know we can have a connection over there um let's see basic connection and then what's connection let me pick my bs and then what connection can i use um, let me use fin plates okay fin plates you can see fin plates for beam and column connection so it should be connected at the flange so let me click that and then take this here click on ok then you see that's been connected warning so click on that and then um click on it double click you can see that's been selected just double click and then you'll find it here you can rotate that you can see the connection you have here is just a fin plate the fin plates okay so um that's how you go about that um let's close that all right so this is how we do um the connection for the steel structures in start pro okay in this particular video we did um a base plate connection for the you know for the bottom of the steel that be connected to the um to the concrete stored we also did um, um a fin plate connection for the beam and column connection we did um, a gusset connection for the beam column brace connection. We did a beam splice and also we did um, a column splice. All right. So any kind of elements you have, if you have, um, you know, probably you have buttons and then you know other kind of structural elements. All form of connection you have is already here in Start Pro. If you don't find it in Basic, you will find it in Smart, and then you have your gusset as well. Okay. So this three will help you to do your um your connection design so if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel for more content thanks for watching